I'm always excited when there's a spectacular new fossil discovered that gives us a window into how evolution really works at the sort of cellular level. And this lizard called Mirasaura, meaning marvellous lizard, uh, is one of those things that is a real tease to us paleontologists because it has these structures on its back that look a lot like feathers. You would swear they were feathers, but they're not. But they have a similarity to feathers in the way they were developed in terms of their growth and also some of the structures inside them, which are called melanosomes. Now, these are pigment cells and they are more like bird feathers than any other kind of similar cell that we get in reptiles or mammals today. We're looking at the uh, fossil here now, John, but how can you tell what this crust is made of from the rock and what it looked like on the animal? Well, well, it's not just the rock. The fossil itself is actually preserved, Ros, with soft tissue. That's the, the colour you can see on this crest. Um, the discovery of this fossil was amazing because they were dug up in 1939 and it was a large collection of them, but they only had the crest. They didn't have the body of the animal. And then the scientists in the Stuttgart Museum got this whole collection that was privately owned, donated to them in 2019, and they prepared away with little drills, and eventually they uncovered the whole skeleton sitting below this giant crest. And it was such a mind-blowing discovery that, you know, they look like feathers, and they're probably made of a similar structure to feathers, but they clearly weren't used for flight. They were more likely used in signalling, um, you know, like peacocks do today with their tails. Um, you know, a structure like that has no function for flight. Um, it's really something that would be used to signal to other mates or to attract a mate. So does this discovery help to answer evolutionary questions then about the development of feathers? Because this fossil predates birds, doesn't it? This fossil is 100 million years older than the first bird. And the first birds evolved from dinosaurs that also had very fancy feathers covering their bodies. So dinosaurs were the first creatures to develop what we call true feathers, and then they developed into flight feathers once birds had evolved from dinosaurs. So what this creature does is it fills in a gap that these early lizard-like reptiles were experimenting with the same genetic process that develops feathers, but they didn't quite get it right the first time. So you think that the crest was meant for some sort of communication, is that right? I think it's the most logical answer, and this is what the authors in the paper suggest. Uh, we'll never really know, but those melanosomes are a clue because melanosomes are the pigment um, cells, you know, the structures within the cell that holds the little bundles of pigment for colour. Mm. So with further research, they may even determine what colour these strange crests on the back of this lizard uh, were. So I think that'll give us more clues with, with further study. John Long, lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Ros.